Do you know what I call division of labor? And start with a song. When he calls me, I will answer. When he calls me, I will answer. When he calls me, I will answer. I'll be somewhere working for my money. I'll be somewhere working. I'll be somewhere working. I'll be somewhere. Working for my Lord. One of the people that are working for the Lord. Uh, and of course, the title of the podcast, which is The Vision of Labor, is actually hiding in plain sight in Scripture. You see, this is Numbers chapter 4, where there is a division of labor. Middle aged men between 30 to 50 years from the tribe of Levi were to work in the service of the tabernacle. They were given very specific duties. The Kohathites were to carry the only things of the tabernacle. And if you look at verse 35, you know, the leader of the family of the Merarites was Zuriel, son of Abihel. They were to camp on the north side of the tabernacle. The duties assigned to the sons of Merari were the tabernacles, frames, crossbars, posts, bases, and all this equipment. All the service for these items, as well as the posts of the surrounding courtyard with their bases, tent, pegs, and ropes. So division of labor is not something new. It's actually present in scripture. If you look at, you know, the Levitical priesthood, you know, there were clear divisions. You know, so if you're a laboring person, you know, just like God identified Zuriel, God knows you by name, you know, uh, put in your best, you know, because God is always, you know, in support of the laboring person, you know, and you will reap your reward.